Nah. <laughs> Welcome back to the Skill Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. Today it's a first look, run, and review of the new Ish Traxxas TRX4 High Trail K5 Blazer Edition. And here it is, right here on the bench. This is not what's on the bench, but this is on the bench. <laughs> um, it is another High Trail. Traxxas has obviously seen a lot of success with the High Trail line. Uh, this is now the third one and uh, in not much time actually they've been pumping these out this one is a little bit different though and I will get into that shortly uh, stick around though uh, there's lots to go over so let's just get right into it obviously we're going to start on this beautiful body uh, Traxxas has been nailing these lately lots of really nice details uh, and a lot of extra effort put into these Lexan bodies to make them look good. Uh, all of the uh, light buckets, these are actual light buckets, they're not stickers. Uh, rear view mirrors, wipers, door handles, all of the trim along here, these aren't stickers as well. This is chromed plastic, looks really great. Uh, actual bumpers, hard plastic bumpers. Really nice chromed out front grille for this uh, earlier model blazer, which I actually really like. I think this one looks fantastic. Um, they've done a really good job. It's everything you've come to expect from a high trail, including stickers for windows. It's three in a row, Traxxas. Please, on the next one, just clear the windows. Just for everyone. Maybe not even all of them. Maybe just the front ones. I'd like to see that. Canyon Trail 2.2 tires and wheels. These eight hole glue on 2.2 wheel. Uh, they are nice shiny chrome. They look great. Uh, the wheel caps are pretty nice uh, little bonus there that covers up the nut underneath. And um, let's see what else. Uh, on the back end, we've got some more chrome details. Lots of chrome details. Really, really surprising and, and look really good. Um, there's some nice faux wood grain on there, which I think was the style at the time. Uh, this uh, rear uh, hatch opener is a nice detail, and there's also a fuel tank uh, cap as well. So uh, on the exterior, it's looking really great. This nice metallic red color is going to shine outside. It's going to look really great. Also comes in a metallic blue so you can have your choice. This is a, a nice looking truck and uh, underneath, of course, it's a TRX4 full feature function platform. So you get locking and unlocking differentials, both front and rear controlled from your radio, which is the TQI. Uh, this has come with every TRX4 that has all of those functions. So you've got your two speed operation on that uh, switch there uh, and uh, your locking dips are operated with this switch up here. It also has cruise control. Uh, one of the features that I actually do really like uh, is that cruise control, and that's something that gets used fairly often. So along with the full features of that TRX-4, uh, you also get the uh, installed lift kit, which gives you an additional inch of ground clearance over a standard TRX-4. And with those 2.2 inch tires and wheels, you're getting a little bit extra clearance there as well. This is uh, featuring the longer GTS shock as well to accommodate all of that lifting. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. It looks like your standard sort of lifted Chevy. This is what they looked like back then. It's what they look like now. <laughs> They're the same. Uh, but the big difference here is the wheelbase. They opted to not muck with the actual body wheelbase and kept it at 12.3 inches. All the other ones are significantly longer, like way longer. The Ranger, where is the Ranger, which hmm, sort of hard to see here, but the Ranger has a 13.8 inch wheelbase, which is substantially longer. And it's usually much higher up, but I have lowered this one. Um, <laughs> by keeping these bodies proportions accurate, it actually looks a lot better. I can't imagine what this would look like if they tried to stretch it to a longer wheelbase. Uh, I think this is actually going to be a bit of a performance differentiator between the other high trail models. This one, of course, being the shorter wheelbase has a shorter breakover, uh, but it does have a higher center of gravity because it is a shorter truck. Uh, I'm really curious to see how it drives, actually. I think that's going to be one of the big difference makers between all of these models. Uh, also, if you just like Chevy Blazers, this is obviously the choice for you. There are a lot of ways in which you can modify them. I've made a mud truck that has yet to be run. I've also lowered a high trail and made it much lower and less capable. 
but more accurate. Looks pretty good in my opinion. What should I do to this one? Put a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. I love reading through your feedback and I try to answer as many of them as I can. And if you're enjoying this video and you like to see reviews of new things, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that notification bell so you get updates anytime there's a new video from the Scale Builders Guild. Uh, we are obviously going to take this outside today. It's a beautiful day outside, uh, but we're going to leave it stock. We're going to see how it performs in its stock form. Uh, I'll try to record some uh, audio along the way when we're out there uh, so you can get my unbiased and instant feedback on what I think of the new K5 Blazer. Ultimately, I think it looks really good. I think it's got uh, that sort of like... I don't want to say it, but this one reminds me a lot of the original mud truck that I did where I put the lift kit on the Blazer kit. This was the newer style Blazer that Traxxas made, uh, the black body. Uh, and uh, this one is so reminiscent. It almost just needs a lightning bolt along the side and it basically would be the same truck. Am I going to change wheels and tires? Maybe. Am I going to put these <laughs> monster truck tires on it? No. Although, let's do it just to see how ridiculous it looks. Maybe we'll put the smaller ones on. Maybe we'll just leave it stock. <laughs> uh, regardless, these are a lot of fun. I do like the high trail line. I think uh, it's a really kind of smart move by Traxxas to offer these. Uh, they just look so cool when they're lifted. And it might be a little bit comical. It might be a little bit out of scale. But I'm all for it in the desire to have fun. And I think that should always be the main focus of this hobby. If you are having fun, if there's a smile on your face, then you've got the right truck for you. I'll put links down below to where you can pick one of these up if you are interested in grabbing one. What's not to like about the TRX4 High Trail Blazer? Well, it does not come with a light kit. Uh, it does have all the buckets for a very substantial light kit, but they are selling that separately. Um, the windows being stickers is... I'm kind of tired of that. I'd like to see a change there. I think uh, for the added expense that it would cost to mask those out at the factory, I think it would be absolutely worth it. Even if they just put a sticker over it, but still kept it clear so you could go ahead and remove the stickers if you wanted to, that would be great. One other thing, uh, I think I would like to have seen the topper here be a different color than the truck. Most of the examples I saw online uh, when I was doing my research on this model, uh, tended to have a white topper. Uh, I think with the wood grain, I think that was partially, maybe that was a feature you could order. I thought it looked really good. It would be nice to break up all of this shiny paint, if I'm honest, with a nice satin white topper. And, you know, maybe I'll do that, actually. That might that might be exactly something I do. Without having driven it, I think the shorter wheelbase is probably going to be a thing as well. Um, seeing that it is shorter, it's probably going to be a little more difficult to drive. We'll put it that way. But maybe I'm wrong. We'll see here in a minute. Things I do like about the new Blazer, uh, it does have the come hither motion uh, clip and body clip free body. Uh, that's something I'm very much a part of. I do very much like that. Uh, makes for easy body removal. Uh, it does have that nice inner structure as well to keep everything nice and rigid. Uh, for a big body, that actually does help a lot. So that's good to see. As you can see, the standard electronics layout that you would expect from a TRX4, the Titan 21 turn 550 can motor for extra torque. Uh, and it is uh, the reverse rotation because, you, as you know, all Traxxas uh, TRX-4s have portal axles. So the motor is spinning in the opposite direction in order to get the wheels to go in the same direction because of the reduction at the portal axle. XL5 high voltage, uh, good for 3S. Uh, ESC. We've got our two-speed shifting uh, servo right here, and we've got our two servos down here for our locking and unlocking differentials. Keep in mind that those can be uh, set up in such a way that you have full uh, unlocked, like it's shown here, and then you can also have locked front, and then also all locked. So there you go. Um, yeah, not much else to report there. Inner fenders are included. Uh, stock steering servo is sort of their mid-range uh, RTR servo. I would not expect that to last forever. Uh, otherwise, it's a pretty great model. And I really like that Traxxas has leaned into this high trail look. These are fun. 
And these open up a lot of different possibilities, uh, certainly for different wheels and tires, uh, certainly for uh, other modifications, uh, maybe even lowering it. That's always fun to do. Seems to annoy the internet a lot, which is good. Uh, so there you go. I think it's a nice addition to the high trail line and uh, I'm keen to get it outside. So let's go do that. Here we are outside in my uh, rocky area. 
And um, I think the, the best part about this is sort of the real-time, not slowed down commentary that goes along with driving a vehicle like this, the TRX-4 High Trail Blazer. Uh, this is um, certainly what I found so far is that its shorter wheelbase does definitely affect its performance. And I mean, it's more prone to rolling over. That's just natural with a shorter wheelbase vehicle. And it's funny that we're talking about a 12.3 inch wheelbase being shorter. <laughs> but I mean, the two previous high trails before this one all had like 12.8, uh, 13, you know, long, long wheelbases. So uh, you lift something up like this, and of course, you know, its center of gravity and overall length is going to affect it differently. That's just natural. That's how these things work. Well, I don't think it's a huge detriment. It is definitely a different driving experience than say the other high trails that I've got. The uh, servo is noticeably weak, uh, but that comes with the RTR territory. Uh, otherwise though, I mean, it, it does a pretty decent job on the rocks. Maybe not in this specific situation. There we go, there we go. Pivot, pivot, wiggle, wiggle. And there we go, nice. Now there isn't much else we can say about the TRX-4 or the High Trail for that matter. There's been a number of them before this one. I'm sure there'll be more after it. Um, but uh, still a very pleasurable driving experience. The only time I find myself using the locking unlocking diffs is when I've forgotten or it's in its factory unlocked setting. I don't oftentimes see myself using that feature. It's something that I've talked about many times. Uh, it's not a strike against it though. If that's something you're into, then by all means, have at it. But I mean, these trucks are pretty bulletproof. They work very well. The great looking bodies. I do like the lifted look of the high trail editions. I, mean, I think it's just, it's just another thing. It's different and it's fun. Hey, is this mud? Is this mud? No, just, just water. But yeah, uh, not much uh, to report. A fun little truck. I know that I originally built uh, a very similar Blazer a long time ago using this wheelbase and the lift kit and a body that's very similar. Uh, and that was fun. But if you're gonna have something that's going to be maybe a little more versatile, maybe this isn't the one for you. Maybe the longer wheelbase ones would be better. That said, if you like the challenge of something with a higher overall center of gravity and a shorter wheelbase to make some of these obstacles a little more challenging, maybe this is the one for you. It's, I mean, you know, look at, it's doing pretty well um, and finding its way through some of these more complicated obstacles. Uh, but the longer wheelbase ones certainly perform better. And you don't notice that high center of gravity nearly as much as you do with the shorter wheelbase Blazer. As a viewer, how do you feel about these in the woods live commentaries? Is this something that you appreciate and you like seeing its real-time performance? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Wow, the frogs are loud today. <laughs> so there we go, that's sort of a first look, run and review of the latest TRX-4 High Trail Edition, this K5 Blazer which I gotta say the metallic red does look really nice outdoors in the sun, just really kind of pops. Nice little man-made obstacle bridge there, that's fun. Oh yes, so scale, very scalar. <laughs> 
sure you suffer a little bit because of that shorter wheelbase in terms of its performance, but I don't think it's such a big deal. See, that looks nice. That's a good looking truck. Well, that was very fun. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I think uh, with that, we're gonna end this one. Thank you to Traxxas for sending the latest Blazer my way so I could do this run and review. And uh, thanks so much for watching. See you on the next one. And we'll let the frogs sing us out. <laughs>